Hello to Veils! Hello! Oh, we are. Hello. <laughs> Start talking to you in LA. There's a little bit of a delay on the line, I think. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> there's five of you, I can see, and you're all masked up for us, which I appreciate. Uh, are you going to go around yourself and introduce yourselves? Tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Kyle. I'm the uh, the vocalist for Bale. Uh, I'm Rob. I'm the guitarist and clean vocalist for Bale. I'm Sam. I'm the lead guitarist for Bale. I'm Tucker and I'm the drummer. I'm Adam and I play bass and I'm mostly a backing track. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm loving the masks, guys. I mean, you gave us quite a fright when you uh, you popped up on screen in the studio. It was uh, nearly fell off my chair, to be honest with you. But uh, I'm, I'm glad I've seen them up close now because I. We just figured it's like a certain character. Right. So, I mean, who are you... we, we basically sleep with these on, bro. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. They, I mean, I we haven't got um. Because I've only got a small screen that I'm looking at. They look almost wooden or, or sort of stone or something. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, have you made these yourselves? Um, so, yeah, these ones are like Hessian, uh, Hessian sort of material and then painted. Uh, this one was made by some, some dude in uh, – Mexico. Some dude in Mexico made this one for me. That's incredible. <laughs> they, like, they look amazing. They look so good. Um, so uh, let's talk about influences. Who do you guys listen to? Oh god, that's uh, it's quite varied. To be fair, you, you, yeah, you won't get you won't get two of the same you, band. You from. were listening to Abba on the way. I was. <laughs> I, I love from. it. Um, yeah, everyone, everything from Abba and Shikari, Slipknot, Run, bit of everything really. Um, I mean, if you want to go. Uh, I listen to a lot of 80s synthwave, um, which is like my chill sort of stuff. But then in the heavier side, um, I think my two main bands that really made me want to start doing vocals was Whitechapel and Suicide Silence. Nice. Uh, for me, I'm a massive fan of an Ishikari, uh, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, on the heavier side of things, I really like, uh, you know, you know, your Whitechapel, Slipknot, that, that sort of stuff. I uh, can't think off the top of my head, but yeah, mainly like your Ancient Carry, that type of stuff. That's what made me, got me into like wanting to play, weirdly enough, and then we're playing horrible deathcore music, <laughs> whatever you want to call us. But yeah, um, actually, in, in fairness, kind of Fight Star. Uh, right. Fight Star was probably my first real heavy band that I ever heard. Um, yeah, they were fantastic. Yes, yeah, Sam. Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't really listen to heavy music too much. Um, I guess my main influence is sort of like you know falling in reverse and stuff like that. Um, but I mainly listen to a lot of like classical and blues. I'm not doing this. So, uh, and how would you describe? I mean, you've you've just said deathcore. Is is that how you would describe it? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess we're it's yeah, probably the closest thing. In terms of like the bulk of our sound, like 70, 80 percent of it is blast beats, breakdowns, <laughs> some beatdowns and new shit. Um, and obviously, we do have choruses, sing along parts and stuff as well. But yeah, I say eighty percent is just balls to the wall heavy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, somewhere in that region, we we'll definitely say. I, I, I don't think you could lock us into straight up death talk, because we know there's uh, there's a lot of people that. Are, yeah, we've got singing in the band. Uh, that's a big no-no in the deathcore community. So I'd say halfway between metal. Well, about eight percent of the way between metalcore and deathcore. Yeah. So somewhere in that region, nice. yeah. it's yeah. metal. Span, span, yeah. span in the genres. So, yeah, yeah. I like it. So take over. Congratulations, guys. Um, absolutely fantastic. Well done to yeah, you guys yeah. for for making it through onto the hallowed turf of donnington park for takeover uh you're you are opening the takeover stage um uh, how does it feel to be opening download festival terrifying <laughs> <laughs> terrifying <laughs> that's probably the, the best word to sum it up <laughs> terrifying joking um, aside though obviously very exciting i think it's a bucket list item probably everyone on this band is to play down yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the dream yeah yeah definitely. have you seen the stage i mean we, did you were you there last year no, no, we weren't there last year. Um, 
I've seen the sort of mock-ups of the stage, um, this year's stage, and it, it looks insane. Um, <laughs> there's all sorts. I don't know what we can and can't say um, that there is there, but there's yeah, it is a uh, looks similar to last year from what I can tell. So yeah, it, it's, it's 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 daunting, daunting to say the least. I can literally say it's going to be the biggest show we've ever played. Yeah. So having that in the back of your mind. Is, yeah, it's quite terrifying. I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> um, <laughs> until we sat behind that stage ready to go on, I think, uh, I think I'm just going to push it back. <laughs> it's just another show. You've got to have, go- you have fun, right? It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. It's going to probably be the best yeah, day of most of my life. You've you, you, you got this chance to, to, to play on this six-foot-high stage, which, you know, I nearly fell off last year. And... Um, <laughs> and it, it, you know, you got this chance of t- takeovers later in the day. You can drag these people in. Just, just your your music. That I've listened to is insane, right? It, it, you're gonna literally shake that tent to the fucking ground, right? You are gonna fucking tear the place down, and you've got this massive opportunity to bring people in and get people having a good fucking time. Th- you know, early, you know, mid afternoon on the first day of download, and I, I can't fucking wait for it. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot fucking wait. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely buzzing for it. Like, just can't wait to hear all of, all of what we've been doing on such a massive scale. Like, just yeah. just hearing like that feeling of the kick drum, <laughs> like during soundtrack, like like hitting your chest. Yeah, like, that's. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be the hardest we've ever played, and uh, I feel like we're gonna feel it the day after. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of download. To be honest with you, because I'm gonna be written off after that. So. Yeah, the bang up. I mean that's what that's what it's there for, isn't it? Leave it all out there on the stage, and you, you never know what might happen next because you know we, you know rumours have it you know there are bookers in the crowd and backstage watching, and who knows what might happen? Um, you know what what are your plans going forward? What what do you think is next for Veiled? Um, I don't know what we can say. Well, we've uh, we're teasing a little something at the moment that we've got uh, got coming. I say before download, uh, we've got something a little something coming out there um and yeah after that it's just sort of trying to keep up with the the momentum from there um we just go with whatever whatever happens because who knows like we could end up on some sort of tour or something depending what offers come in um at whatever point if we've got some releases we've we got music in the uh in in the hold still let's say maybe uh maybe an album maybe not <laughs> maybe some material who knows oh Nice. <laughs> uh, where were you when you got the news? I mean, what were you all doing when you found out you were going to be playing the takeover? God, I was, I was, I was at work. Um, yeah, I was, I was at work, and I got a message. I, I just saw the uh, the notification come down at the top of my phone, and it was like Heather Gibb, um, and then like it was. We thought it was fake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite a while we thought it was fake. Oh, no. um, we just thought it was someone. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys will get it on any of your pages, but there's just a lot of like spam messages that come through, or, like your your page is going to be taken down or something like that. So a lot of the messages I just ignore anyway. But then I saw the little preview and it was like congratulations and like you've won an iPhone. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but that came through and I just messaged. I messaged our manager straight away. I was like, "Is this real? Is this legit?" And then he messaged back. He was like, "You've fucking done it, lads." <laughs> <laughs> was was this the first time you've applied for takeover? I'd say the first real time. I mean, we put we put something in last year, but it was like a really last minute. We just we filmed a rehearsal just on his phone, and it was like really like we never expected anything to come of it. It was just kind of throw it in anyway. Um, but this year we kind of went a little bit out of our way to to record something we got um our our cameraman videographer uh breakpoint media came down like did a really professional like multiple takes well you know making sure that we got the right performance in and uh like all the cameras around and that sort of stuff which of course as you all know like it's not required to do something like that but we really we really wanted to put in that extra level of effort um and showcase our stage show because that's one of our biggest 
biggest sort of selling points, I would say, if you see us live. We have a lot of a lot of energy, a, lot, a huge light show that we bring, and we really wanted to showcase that in 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 the submission. Um, so yeah, we really went kind of all out with it. Um, Adam over here, he mixed uh, mixed it all and got it all sounding got it all sounding nice from the uh, from the raw recordings and what have you. And yeah, we made sure that we you know put out put out the best that we could be. Yeah. I want to mention in particular the video that we played on the show um, because it gave really spooky vibes, which I love. I love anything spooky like that. Um, and um, it was, it was it, like you say, you had uh, someone go over and it sounds, the mix is incredible on that particular video that I saw that we played out. Just a really great effort. So, oh, look at me. <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's, it's uh, a, you know, a, 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 you know a fan, no wonder you got picked. Fantastic. No, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all of that's down to down to Adam. We've, we've worked with Adam longer than he's been in the band. Um, we've always gone to him for like mixing, mastering, all of that sort of stuff. And he's been a friend longer than he's been in the band. So yeah, he, he just helps it sound sounds amazing. <laughs> How long has Vale been going then? Because you all seem quite young. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This, um, is why we, this is why we were last. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like 50. Uh, uh, no, Veiled itself has been going just under two years now. Um, I think we, re we released our debut EP about a year ago, about a year ago um, at this point. So, yeah, it's, it, as, a, as a band, it's very new. Um, we've all sort of known each other um, through other projects or other bands and what have you oh, through the years. Um, and, and, yeah, and kind of just all come together in Veiled, um, Kyle Acosta, new vocalist. Um, so the video that you will have seen, that was our old vocalist, uh, Jamie, and uh, Kyle's thankfully stepped into the uh, stepped into their wow. shoes. And I'm also getting Yorkshire vibes from you. Is that right? <laughs> oh, I don't, don't know where you're getting that from. <laughs> White Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts are you from? Leeds. Um, yeah, the Leeds Wakefield area yes, over on yes. that. I'm a Sheffield fella, you see. I, you, you can spot another Yorkshireman very easily, can't you? Um, <laughs> can, can I can I just ask? Right, I'm 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 loving I'm loving your masks. You, you, your drummer at the back there with, with his full face mask is fucking terrifying. Is <laughs> is he as terrifying underneath that mask? Because <laughs> like, is it hiding something grotesque or? Right. No, he's a very pretty man. Is that, is, that, is, that, is, is that why it's full face mask? <laughs> <laughs> he's the looker of the band. It's ironic that he covers it up. That's the thing. Is it just it would imbalance things too much. Like... <laughs> you see, you can't have your sticks man being your best looking man in the band, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it just right off. We're, we're going with all the horror vibes, and then there's just you know Baywatch over it. <laughs> Wow, incredible. Well, it's great to meet you guys, and you're going to be first up, aren't you? How is that? I mean, um, are you pleased about the position that you've got there, first on stage? Yeah, to be fair, yeah, because yeah. it's one thing playing down with, but I think it like starting that weekend for everyone, that feels a bit, a bit more special for me. Yeah, yeah. Any, any position at download. Yeah, <laughs> any, any, any position, but I mean, personally, I think I prefer the opening slot one because it's it, you know, it, you get to see you've opened downloads. Not many other bands can ever say that. As well as we don't have to sit around and watch all day whilst yeah. we're just seeing the crowd grow or like seeing our other friends um, play or what have you. Like, um, we're good friends with in, in retrospect, who are our top main support, I guess you'd say. Right. Main support. Um, but yeah, they're, they're amazing lads. And yeah, just seeing them, like watching them, if, if the roles were reversed. Watching them open and then essentially shitting ourselves for the rest of the day until we got to play. Um, yeah, I prefer going up and <laughs> getting out of the way. I think it helps us to set the stage yeah. as well. Yeah. Like you said, we're going to tell the people. Um, I think we probably are. Like yeah. the first song we play is probably going to get people moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to get people. You're going to bring people into that tent, aren't you, for the uh, for the takeover, um, and that will be on the Wednesday from four o'clock, um, and uh, we'll be there. We'll be uh, backstage chatting to all the bands. So um, we'll we'll look out for you after you come off stage. Have a grab a quick word with you, and see how it went. 
yeah, we'll be uh, very sweaty, a little bit steamy. So um, <laughs> we, we apologise in we, advance. We, we like that so. on Festpod. We 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 <laughs> encourage the sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just say under these things, it, uh, it gets a lot hotter than the normal other bands. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what's weird is that last year the first band on was Andromedus, and they wore masks as well. They did. Yeah, I saw, I saw them guys as well. Yeah. Recurring theme. They yes, were rather, they were very sweaty as well. Yes, they were. Yes, yeah. so we know what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, thanks so much, Veiled, <laughs> for putting time aside to speak to us today. We really appreciate it, and we wish you a, a lot of luck uh, for your. In fact, you're the first band on it. Download. It's going to be amazing. So excited to see you guys, and so we literally will see you there. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah. Can't big, wait. big sweaty hugs when we find yes. you. <laughs> Look to you. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much. Cheers. A Wilco Productions podcast.